in this example, we're going to use splitter step. It's an iterating splitter using XPath. We will split this incoming XML to individual smaller XML, starting with the item as an element. The source have the road and an exam ID. Let's say this is a input XML. This is an exam header like, and it have so many item. Let's go to CPI and create an iFlow. Just call it splitter example. So next, we're going to put a splitter step with this type, iterating splitter. Break down a message into individual messages without encapsulating element. Encapsulating element means the, this and also this, all other element that contain uh, wrap this item which is this road element and road node and the road element under the road okay then this one we are not using receiver and if we without specify a getter step then individual split one will process one by one and then end. For this example, I'm going to use splitter and getter so that the result of each split, we can join it back, merge it back and view in Postman. Same like the uh, multicast example that we use. For this one, I'm going to use the just a plane and concat to see what are the actual response that we are getting back. And I'm going to add a header. This is not required, but it will auto make the postman result auto pretty print so it's it's easier for our for our testing just give it a name okay then from the path here from the expression type web library token xpath now we for this example we look at xpath the expression is we can use like the full path or you can use this also let's try this grouping is uh, how many item you want to group we can leave it blank by default is one if you not specify. Yeah, let's deploy. Give it 
a path with the splitter example okay, I'm going to use this input payload run it Yeah, you can see each of this one is the individual XML that already split. And I think we should we should put the tracement and have a look. Run it again. Okay, from here, you, when the input message come, you will go through this one, and then split as many times as the record are in here is one two three four five five time each time we split it will go to the gather and then the gather will be responsible to combine all the rest all the result back until the last one if we look at the this individual you can see this is a individual XML and the final one is merged like this okay now let's look at the grouping if I now change it to two and deploy you can see now this one is one XML uh, to make it clearer let me let me do this uh, I can create uh, some line break uh, and separate Okay, I add this line. We can simply add this and it, it won't break because we are using the plain text concatenation. Plain text, anything can concat because it's a plain text. If it's a, you use the XML and this is not valid for XML then you will throw error so this is one of the advantages of concat using the plain text also you know now have a look Yeah, now it's look better. So, one XML, two XML, group it together, and the last one, only one, because remaining one only, one, two, three, four, five.
Yeah. Okay, what L option we have? Streaming. This one I not look, in, look, look not look into detail yet, but this one should be for the when it's a very big XML using streaming for performance reason. But I need to really check in detail, then only can comment correctly. Parallel processing, same like the multicast. If it parallel processing, it will process parallel. This one, let's try it. But this one's example is too small. We're not really able to see a real. Um, I will skip this for now. And use in other example that can properly show the uh, behavior and different stop on exception when it's split if any exception occur then it will stop and then it won't proceed with the rest of the item let's say this one when you first run it split and then add here, do some operation, do some activity and hit some error, then it will stop. Then the rest, it will not process, process anymore. It will just stop and return error. CPI showing red. This is the behavior of stop on exception. Yeah. If you uncheck this one, even though one fail, the rest will proceed. And and you might not able to detect an error. Just occur silently. But the exception uh, handling part generally is like this. It got a lot of variant that this to study in detail or refer some other. SAP block got a very detailed explanation on the behavior on exception. Here just highlight the generally. If you uncheck this one, it will process the rest even though an exception occur in one of it. Yep. Okay. This is example one. Then yep. Last thing is this exam ID road we are not interesting so we not pass in here. Okay, I will stop in here and look into other example.